compare this case to any of those other officers killing unarmed black men. Those officers that killed unarmed black men, when they got out, they went back to living their lives. Amber Geiger, ever since she killed that man, she has not been the same. She showed remorse in that she's going to have to deal with that for the rest of her life. Somebody, you know what, man, with this whole case, this, these whole, the jurors, the judge, the everybody involved, the bailiff, everybody needs to be drug tested. This is fucking so ridiculous. This woman, I don't know where the hell they get these goddamn jurors from. This woman, okay, got to be in her early 20s, completely naive, completely just, just don't know what she's talking about. Not well studied, not well versed on black history, doesn't know a goddamn thing. Talking about you can't compare this case to any other case involving black men, women, and children being gunned down unarmed. It's exactly the same. It's like these goddamn, it's like us, of course, I'm not, I don't say us as in um, black society, more like these so called black Christians who forgive Dylan Roof. For killing unarmed black people at a church for, 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 for praying. Same thing. Same exact thing. And with countless, countless, countless shootings of unarmed black men, women, and children being killed by race soldiers, aka domestic terrorists in this country, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. And and, you know, here's the thing about uh, these so-called Christians, right, man? They have, they seem to have always wear a moral compass, like, especially towards white society. Had this been reversed, like I said in my last video, had this been reversed, had this been a black man killing an unarmed white woman in our own apartment, that man will, will the family will seek the death penalty. Uh, mainstream media would enforce that. As well as the suspected and, and, and suspected and over white supremacists will be calling for that. Hands down facts. Look at the history. All right. And let me just say this, man, with this with this chick, uh, whatever her name is, the juror. Who doesn't know a goddamn thing about black history. Let me say this, man. Amber Geiger. Is only showing this so-called remorse and tears, right? Because she's in court and she got caught. Remember, see, you have to understand how these white supremacists work. Immediately after she shot and killed both of them in his own apartment, she, and she was testifying for this, she literally watched him die without helping him at all so for for you to say she has remorse she did not have remorse after she shot him she was on the phone calling the police even though she was off duty watching the man die didn't didn't apply cpr didn't do anything just sat just basically called the police waited didn't do nothing about his body and he died he died so she has no compassion. She has no sympathy. And those white tears that she was trying to do work for y'all dumb motherfuckers. For y'all so-called Christians. It worked for y'all. It didn't work for me. Those white sympathy tears did not work for me. It worked for the judges. worked for the jurors. worked for the bailiff. It didn't work for me. It will never work for me. So, you know, she got her sentence. Am Amber Geiger got her sentence reduced down to five years, basically. They say 10. It's really five. It'll be less than that even. It'll be even less than that. She'll probably do two years in the rest probation. If that. This is the white lady. This is the damsel in distress if I don't see one, man. That's what this is. The damsel in distress. I mean, this is a cut and dry case if I don't know one. And there needs to be an investigation of the judge, the jurors, everybody involved for coddling this white woman. Like this, this they treat this white woman like white Jesus. Seizure Boger, <laughs> a.k.a. Yahweh Shai, Yahshua, whatever y'all want to call him. You know, Christians know him as Jesus. Hebrews know him as Yahweh Shai. 
so-called Jews know him as Yeshua. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what they were treating her like. And it, it, it's sad how we have to appease and seek the approval of our oppressors from Stockholm Syndrome. Amber Geiger, you talking about she was remorseful. Was she, refor was, she rem was she remorseful immediately after she shot and killed both them Gene in his own damn apartment? If you say yes, you have a mental disorder. Matter of fact, you already got a mental disorder anyway. You have a mental illness. Stockholm Syndrome, Cognitive Dissonance, Post-Traumatic Slavery Disorder. For you to say that. And then for this dude talking about, we all we all agreed it was a mistake. How the hell can you say going in someone else's apartment, someone else's own property is a mistake? Really? Opening the door, going to somebody else's property is, no, it's called a purpose. It's It, it was on purpose. She killed an unarmed black man in his own apartment. It's unfortunate that both him, Gene, and his family are Christians and they believe in the so-called forgiveness and all this other bull crap where we're the only group of people who do that. Like I said in my last video, the Native American community, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving. They don't forgive Thanksgiving. They mourn on that day. The Jewish community, they don't celebrate the Holy Cross. <laughs> they don't even acknowledge the Holy Cross. They mourn their ancestors. They don't forget. They don't forgive. The Japanese community, same, same, uh, same exact thing. They don't forgive. They mourn and they seek justice in the form of reparations. And that's what they got. We as black society, we, our reparations is in the minds of a so-called Christian is the approval of the dominant white society, the approval of the so-called white man. We want approval. We want acknowledgement. We want acceptance from them. And that's Stockholm Syndrome. That is a complete mental illness. And until we understand that we have a mental illness, we'll always be that way. We'll always be subservient, docile, and mistreated by them, being used by them. And those pictures and the videos of, of us hugging Amber Geiger in court is infamy to show how docile and weak we are as a people. And that blacks and that white society will continue to go ahead and murder us, murder us uh, unjustly or justly. And they know that black society will say, hey, we, we forgive you because we're so-called Christians. Like I said in my last video, man, there's a reason why Margaret Sanger, a white, a known overt white supremacist, a founder of Planned Parenthood who studied black society, who want to denigrate and destroy black society, she said, and I quote, the most religious appeal to the Negro is through religion. Right? She said, the most educational approach to the Negro is through religion. That's the quote she said. The most educational approach to the Negro is through a religious appeal. There's a reason why she said that. She knows that we're the, we're, that is the only thing we understand because of over 500 years of mistreatment, of domination, of denigration, separating our language, our tongue, our history, our ancestry, everything. That was the only thing that we were taught. We were, we were allowed to understand and study was so-called Christianity taught by the dominant white society, which, you know, basically destroyed black society. And this is how we act today. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, that, that, that's, my, those are my thoughts about that. Um, leave your comments down below family. Let me know what you guys think about this, these juries coming out. I think this whole trial needs to be redone. Everything needs, needs to be redone. I think, this is this need to be taken to the federal level. Um, everybody is and everybody needs to be questioned. This is probably the most bizarre case I've seen in modern history. Most bizarre case. I've never seen a a uh, convicted murderer be treated so lightly, be treated so respectfully. 
and they have a sentence reduced to 10 or actually five, two to five years, basically. I haven't seen that before. So, all right, fam, drop your comments down below, family. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. Till next time, Chauncey signing out. Peace.